my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love also known as the pick a card empress all right so most of you guys know by now for sure um that um last week in fact about for about two weeks i was locked out of my channel i um, made for love so i started uploading the astrological sign videos um over here um and i decided to continue to do it over here so we so that people don't get too confused with what happened all right so um by next week we're going to be back to normal in terms of we're gonna we're gonna finish the signs here's gonna go back to pick a cards and pop-ups and over there will be um twin flame soulmate readings and the astrological signs okay guys sub both channels um it's one of the security measures that i'm putting in place um just in case an incident like this comes again and i've also put in a stop guard just in case youtube crashes completely i will have a link down below copy that link and put it in your like in your notes on your phone or something like that so if anything happens to youtube it crashes whatever you know where to find me you can find me on patreon and you'll be able to find me on my mirror channel which is on library.com i am not taking any chance again sub both channels so you can always find me all right because um that i was locked out and for most of you, you guys didn't know what was going on unless of course you had sub pick a card empress all right so if it goes either way we should be able to find each other always okay guys yes like a tracking device <laughs> so guys what are we going to do today so gemini nation their lovers this is going to be your november 2020 astrological sign update now, when you're watching these readings for love, Gemini, you're not just going to watch your sun sign. You're going to watch your sun, moon, Venus, and your rising sign. And then you're going to watch your person's placements in these areas. Because when it comes to soul connection, it's energy. And energy can be vice versa flip. Sometimes spirit wants us to take a different perspective, a different outlook. So they'll show us a different side. All right. And then you're going to use your intuition. If a um, title grabs your attention, go there. And everybody this month should be watching the Scorpio reading, okay? The Scorpio reading, I think, was the energies of the connection um, of the of the moment. And um, also, I think, maybe the Taurus reading, too, because opposite polarity of Scorpio. So, we are um, the Taurus reading as well. So, those are additional readings that you can watch to get further insights or further dimensions um, on your person. So, um, let's go into this. The sound that came on for you guys. And for you guys that were on the live, thank you for your lovely energy. And I put a post today that uh, if you experience any um, feelings of anger or resentment, that is a purge, okay? And what can help you um, is listening to meditative music. And when I sat down on my chair, the music that came on for you guys was Detox Your Mind, <laughs> right? Healing Frequency, Meditation Music for Self-Love, Deep Healing Energy, all right? So um, I think for a lot of you guys, it's time to spend that time um, alone and just disconnecting from anything that stresses you out. Anything or anyone that stresses you out at this point, um, they need to just F off. I'm so serious. Just F off, right? It's time for you um, and your self-love and your self-care. So let's go into this reading. And I'm going to be using, of course, the Book of African Divination, which is an amazing deck really amazing um vintage deck so i'm just gonna be using it for this month and then i'll put it in my out of print collection which is going quite nicely and i got a nice return on one um just last week i bought it and then by the time i got it this week the price of it had increased by 200 um us already so that was a good investment i'm happy about that okay what we tapping into right now we're tapping into a greedy man. <laughs> Is that your counterpart? Is that you? Is that someone in their life? I don't know. <laughs> I feel it's your person though. I think your person in the past, um, they were motivated by greed, Gemini. Okay, they wanted everything. Not, and it's not just pertaining to money too. Okay, I do think even they might have been even entertaining other energies, um, other persons besides yourself because they wanted it all. We're talking about um, a hoarder. Okay someone operating in um lack mentality so they have to have multiple options just in case somebody drops out of the race <laughs> right <laughs> they have another option there right that's who you were dealing with and somebody who hoarding money hoarding things hoarding people 
all right love collectors is what i call them so that is looks like what you were um, dealing with but know that this person is returning to oneness this is number one here because they've gotten some kind of enlightenment because we have card number 12 and that is a hangman so for some of you guys you're dealing with a gemini right so that's a card number 12 that they've gotten a different perspective um on their behavior okay all right all right so we're gonna start with getting the multi-dimension no what's the most important message that spirit wants to come through a significator for this reading maybe it's a message to you or it's a message about your person let's see what is the message all right we have a rash boy so we're picking up someone who may have been um immature in the past may have made rash rash um decisions very impulsive um, and maybe this is why I talked about anger because this person had a lot of anger buried deep inside all right but right now they are ending the cycle of being impulsive and rash they're just saying fuck it man um, and they're laying down this burden this baggage that they have been toting around they have been toting around some kind of childhood baggage that made them operate in lack mentality and made them kind of aggressive too maybe you didn't notice their crush aggression because it was quite suppressed but this is what I was getting. It's like because they're showing me um, a, a, a body form with a lot of compressed energy um, between the solar plexus and the upper thighs. And that is always um, um, suppressed anger. So that is what we are dealing with. Somebody who has this suppressed rage inside because of something that happened in their childhood. And they have been taking it out on humanity ever since then. Let me let's pull three cards. But I'm telling you that's the story that's the story they have so much suppressed rage and other emotions inside okay and they have been taking it out on the world ever since but i think that they've been healing you see recognizing how dysfunctional their childhood and their family um and their social group um is and they're doing um a lot of healing right now but they may also be acting out uh, let me pull three cards and see what that's about spirit come, come through with a message what is the message for Gemini? Come through. What is the message for Gemini? Let's get three cards on that rash boy. All right, so we have seven of cups. I told you somebody that was entertaining multiple options. They were a bit confused. Okay, they were confused. Okay, but they're having a tower moment right now. Okay, but this tower moment is necessary for them to explode because they need to explode they need to you see that anger it needs to erupt it needs to get out right they're about to explode here all right yeah so that they can recognize the truth all right so that they can recognize the truth and and so that they can speak the truth it looks like um everything that they suppress inside is coming out right now i wouldn't like to be around this person because gemini you know this is you okay and you know when Gemini get pissed off, <laughs> there's no filter for your mouth, right? <laughs> so this is what is happening. There is no filter for this person's mouth right now, right? They're embodying you, Gemini. And whoever is around them, they're getting some undiluted, unadulterated um, choice words. Let's just put it like that. They, this person don't give a fuck anymore. I'm telling you. They don't give a shit. They don't give. They don't give. They have finally exploded. That's what I'm getting. They don't give. So anywhere, let's see. Let's get a multidimensional look at your person. Let's go by the higher self because higher self um, needs to show us, needs to tell us what's going on. You see, a person is burnt out and overwhelmed. They can't deal with it. So they're just going to explode. All right. So that's the confirmation from the higher self there. And it's, we see it again. I told you. This person going to explode. So... Um, you know what? You run for cover. Gemini, you step all the way back. Right? Step all the way back, Gemini. Underneath the deck. You see, they got themselves in some kind of sticky situation here. Let's get a, a message from their higher self. What does their higher self want you to know? So this is my divine counterparts in separation deck. Let's get a message from their shadow self. What's the message coming from? You see, um, this is going to be the last time I put on nail polish, guy. I am not a good nail parent. I am not. I can't. It's exactly why I don't wear nail polish. 
I don't take good care of it at all. And she wanted to put the gel nail polish, but uh, my fingernails are naturally soft. So by the time I soak that in that acetone or whatever, I would have damaged my nails. So I just chose the ordinary nail polish. And now it's tripping and cracking every bloody wear. Not a good nail babysitter at all. So for the shadow self, I'm using Mystic Moon's Twin Flame Shadows. And then we're going to look at what they're healing right now. What are they healing, spirit? What's coming through? <laughs> what are they healing? What's, what, what's coming through? This is my Wounded Warriors deck. What's coming through? What are they healing? All right. Let's get, to, let's get one. Okay. What are they experiencing right now? On their twin flame soulmate journey. Shit, a towel moment. <laughs> a towel moment, guys. Bloody hell. And this is also my deck, Twin Experience. What are they experiencing right now on their twin flame soulmate journey? And then let's get one last card from their 3D self. I didn't even take it up. <clears throat> I'm going to be using Angelic Revelations. Um, naked flame healing messages. I really like this deck, you know. What does it say? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I see us growing all together. If it's meant to be, it will be even if we come into union when we're 70. <laughs> um, what's that song? 70. Um, oh, shit. When we're 70. When we're 70. Oh, my God. Oh. And my mom likes this song. Oh. Isn't it an Ed Sharon song? When we're, I'll, be, I'll be loving it. When we're 17. Oh gosh, guys, come on. Um, you you guys don't usually know. Um, I, I the, the, listen. I'm only getting like when we're 70 or some crap, some crap like that. I'm only getting that. I can't remember the rest of the song. And baby, I be loving you till we. Is it till they were 70 or what is it? Come on. Um, you know, you know the song. Just put it down below. I can't think about it. It's just sipping me. Anywho's. That's their message for you as well. All right. So we have doubt. Okay. So the higher self wants you to know that this person has a lot of doubts. Um, naturally, they have a lot of insecurities. They don't just have doubts about this connection. It's about this is doubts about themselves and their self-image and not being good enough. And it's something that they were told um, as a child. I don't know. I'm really drawn to um, the hand. So there's some kind of physical abuse or some kind of touching um, that happened here whatever it was it was very traumatic for a person and that's how they downloaded that they were hopeless unlovable stupid ugly etc etc and this has been imprinted um on this person it's imprinted on their psyche okay so they want you to know that this is where their doubts about themselves come from this is where their behavior comes from it's that negative energetic imprints um from caregivers okay now we have warning what is this what i'm getting from this is that your person um they are overly cautious they're hyper hyper vigilant all right because they've had so much trauma in childhood your slightest response or overture um they're seeing the shadows behind it um they're always expecting that somebody is going to betray them somebody is going to hurt them so there's their their warning system it's like um, hyper wired or hypersensitive, okay? So their alarms go off <laughs> at the slightest thing, and sometimes it, it's just way off base. But because it's, it's like they, they're in some kind of PTSD, really. Then PTSD. Mm -hmm. Someone. This is someone who needs counseling, right? So um, they're they're totally hyper vigilant. So maybe even in the past, um, you just breathe. You you breathing, Gemini, would have triggered this person right it's because they're wounded 
You see, I told you, what I tell you, it's, it's abuse. It's verbal abuse. This is what they were told. This is what they were told. Ugly, lovable, stupid. Right? You're totally clueless, whatever it is. This is what they were told. So this is what they're healing right now. Okay? So even arguments in the past. And you're Gemini. Oh, you're not too diplomatic when you start to argue. So that would have triggered them totally. Totally. They would have gone right back to childhood and remember all... Um, the quarreling and all the thought, all the things that were said to them. So this is something that they're healing. Um, the legacies or the consequences of some kind of verbal um, abuse. And maybe even now, whatever partner they're with, because you know we always recreate the energy of our childhood, right? Right. So even now, they may even have a partner that's verbally abusive because this is what they know. And they accept. What are they experiencing right now? Well, they're in deep prayer. Um, and meditation right now they're having a heart awakening and this is opening remember the the heart is the gateway to the upper chakras so this is really opening them up to spirit right now okay so they're deep in prayer um, and meditation we're going to pull a card and see what they're praying about or what they're meditating on right so this person they're waiting for you they have not given up on you you know um, and they don't care how long it takes they know that you guys are going to be together they know this okay um and they're waiting on that day they have not given up they have not given up at all so let's pull some cards okay let's go into this doubt so we know this is connected to childhood abuse okay so they have a doubt about themselves doubt about this connection they doubt in your love because they can't see how you can love somebody like them because remember they're stupid hurtless um ugly clueless lazy bad etc etc they're in pain they're wounded okay this person feels damaged that's the word i heard they feel damaged and they don't understand how you can uh, love them you understand in fact they might think they think that you eventually you're, you're going to be juggling them you're going to cheat on them um they keep going back and forth in their mind as to whether they can trust you um or not because this person has you on a pedestal they see you as this queen of wands you're everything that they could ever want for want I mean, here you are, your psyche. Look, she's stroking this cat here. Very sexual, very sensual, um, connected to spirit. And they feel this soul tie with you. Look, the red ribbon, the red cord. They're feeling this soul tie with you. But whether they can trust you or not, um, they're not too sure. They're not sure at all. They have a lot of doubts. Let's see the warning that's happening here. Yeah, their alarm bells are going off and that's why they are stuck okay because this person's really scared you know they're showing me like a scared rabbit okay so everything is a danger or a trigger to this person right because i told you they have ptsd and that's why they're not stepping into their power okay they feel they feel like you are trying to manipulate them when you are just trying to love them yeah and it's because of the abuse it's because of the abuse it's because of the abuse. They overthink, if they overthink everything because of the abuse. Look, we have a Virgo here. And this is a negative aspect of Virgo. It is the overthinker. And they can run a negative loop in their head 24-0. 24-0. Once a Virgo is ungrounded or unbalanced, they can run that negative loop and think about all kinds of shit 24-0 till they can't even sleep at night. But you know what? This is something that they are healing right now, okay? But right now they need some space because this person kind of unbalanced, okay? Look, we have temperance in reverse. Um, they're unbalanced because there's also some kind of structure in their life um, that is ending. But they're thinking a lot about their crazy ass childhood, okay? So they're in deep prayer and meditation. Let's see why. They're in deep prayer and meditation, Gemini. What's this about? You see, they are heartbroken. If your person was with somebody else, know that they were betrayed. They were stabbed in the back. Know that your person is also going through a breakup um, at this time and they're praying for strength. Okay? They learned a pretty hard lesson. Yes? But Spirit is saying they had to go through that Gemini in order to download the truth about themselves um, and to... Um, be able to speak the truth about what happened to them in the past because I'm getting you see that suppressed anger and rage that we saw inside 
that's also suppressed truth. They weren't able to speak that truth to anyone. They hid it. Maybe they even suppressed it from themselves for a long time. But I think with the kind of pressure they were under, um, it rose to the surface. So um, there's some kind of truth that they're speaking um, about the past. So they're waiting on you because they know that you are the one. Um, they might be scared to come towards you, but they know that you're the one. They're pretty, sh they're pretty sure um, that you are the one here. And they're saying that, you know, um, they know that they are your masculine. Look, we have the sun. Ra, you make them happy. Okay, they know that you, that they are your masculine. They know this. Um, it is just that um, because of their abuse, of the abuse from the past, their pain and their baggage, this is what makes them conflicted because um, they're not sure if you're going to do them the same thing like the last person that they're with and like their caregivers um, in their childhood. Some heavy energies for your person, Gemini. Let's look at their headspace with regard to you. And I just want to thank Tabitha for donating this amazing debt, which is the Haunted House Tarot. The Haunted House Tarot. underneath the deck we have the page of pentacles so this person they do want to come forward we have what is this what kind of flower is that is it a flower i don't know what the ass that is guys what what is that i don't know what it is what is that what's that person have there i don't know what that is it looks like it looks like a flower it looks like all kind of shit anywho's um i think they want to come back with an apology or some kind of offer, a small token of their love. Because they don't want to tell you too much. Because they, they don't trust you completely yet. But they want to test the waters though. See where your head is at. See where your heart is at. See if you still love them. Alright, so when they think about you and they think about this connection. And it, thinks, it looks like they're doing a lot of thinking there. Alright, we have the Ten of Swords. You see, they, they think about past betrayal and pain. But they also think how they might have fucked you over in the past. That's what I'm getting here as well. Ten of Swords reverse. Let's pull out the rest of cards. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Queen of Cups. That's Cancerian energy. We have the King of Swords. Is it a King? Yes, it is a King of Swords. Aquarius energy coming through. Yeah, they're very mental. And then we have... Um, the sun in reverse, Leo in reverse. What am I getting here? I'm getting that this person, um, they think about you. They, they have a lot of regrets. And the th what, are, what do they regret? Uh, they regret that they allowed their past and the pain from the past um, to interfere in your connection. They realize now that you were just trying to express your love and offer them love. And they were here um, just dissecting anything, everything. Um, being their logical mind, being all up in their head, right? So here you are. I'm here to love you. And they're like, what is, the, what is their motive? We know that this person can't love me. What do they want? Are they trying to set me up? Are they playing the mind games with me? You see, you see the kind of road your person was going on? Just because they didn't think that they were um, worthy of love. So they're looking at you now and they're seeing the truth. You just wanted to express your love. That's all you wanted. And they're sad because um, they think that they've lost you. I do think that they're still going to come forward and try and see where you're at, if there's still a chance. Okay. But they're really regretting how they sabotaged this connection in the past because that's exactly um, what they did. They sabotaged this thing. Okay. And they're realizing that now. They're realizing that now. Um, it took them all of that and that big tower moment that made them explode and all that release of that pent up emotions to realize they screwed themselves over with you okay so what's blocking this connection um at this time gemini what's blocking the connection we have king of pentacles in reverse so two things i'm getting from this especially when we got the greedy man underneath the deck 
this person is still healing their luck mentality okay making decisions based on finances and financial stability but i'm also getting that this your person may be dealing um with a karmic this is a gold digging karmic okay maybe dealing with a karmic um a gold digging karmic and they're not sure um how to extract themselves from that situation maybe that person is dependent on them maybe that person's trying to hold um them to ransom there's something like that going on so there's a karmic um that's keeping them back maybe some kind of dependent or they might be dependent on the karmic for money um you see it's definitely a financial investment i told you guys that now this could also talk about the past okay and this could be a mirrored energy for both of you guys both of you guys looking back on the past what happened in your past with past relationships but what happened in the past with this relationship and you're like mm, do i really want to go back there has this person changed um you know do they still feel the same way is it worth the effort you guys are assessing um the situation what's blocking this connection we have queen of swords there's some truth that needs to be spoken um and that communication or lack thereof um, is blocking this connection right now somebody could have put up a barrier as well another boundary so maybe you block this person on all devices and all social media platforms <laughs> and change their number <laughs> so they can't get to you gemini what's blocking this connection you're like nah and you know when gemini is done gemini is done okay so quiet so fast um we have the tower right you see i told you a person's going through a big tower moment right now okay i think there are there's a lot of stuff happening all at once um i think with their finances um with their emotional body um with their spirituality as well it's like everything is coming hard and fast at them at once so right now um they have to kind of prioritize and i think they're prioritizing their physical or economic survival um right now so if this feels like your energy um gemini join me in the extended version um of this reading and what i'm going to look at there we're going to go back in this african div divination deck and we're going to see what's happening in your person's life right now i mean we're not allowed to spy but we're allowed to get messages that are for highest good spirit is going to show us that okay nobody's going to be deceiving us no spirit wouldn't allow that so we're allowed to see that and then we're going to look at what is this person's heart space energy for you we're going to pull some more of these 3d messages you know i have loads of 3d decks okay get some more 3d messages for you we're going to get some more messages from the higher self um we're going to have a nice look at um what's potential actions what might be their potential actions towards you um within a month's time and then i'm going to get some advice what is spirit's opinion of this whole thing what does spirit think you need to do okay so join me in extended till then guys don't forget sub the boat channels that's all safety that's all safety net Okay, and I'll see you guys. Take care. Oh, my love. Bye.